we've got ourselves team one together with our rack gonna be first up and alrighty guys uh demonology this time around and Ari, yes charging in on the gladiator mount immediately hit with the mortal cold yoinking the warlock back over to him with a uh, dragon coming down blasting him from the sky dropping a full stun for some reason i can't see our um health bar that's weird oh wait now i can all right cool well i guess that kind of sort of fixed it but still the damage out of there yes oh my god that silence wait you're dual wielding wait this man is a dual wielding frost death knight what what oh my god also christian thanks so much for the note appreciate you coming in as a christian and chat as oh my god ariash absolutely taking vex demon out back with a quick stunner is potentially going to be an immunity here out of the demon hunter trying to see if he can claw back the health as best as he can full hot meta and everything is available it is going to be Ariash trying to see if he can back up out of there full cooldowns available does have himself the big choppers obliterates to come in right through him frost strikes to follow mad damage oh it looks like even just the dot took him out quick death strike off of that one trying not to get stopped up by the shaman Shaman blasting him fully with big damage potentially no he's just setting up i was uh, saw the sky fury totem or rather fear of the elements totem is that what the thing is called now quick interrupt to follow stun right after wait a second arias is he just taken right here what the hell this man how <laughs> What is going on with Call of Duty? Trying to see if we can drop down some um, moons on this guy. Full Cup Vogue does get interrupted off of it. Ariash picking up a bit of healing with the Death Strikes back to back. Cat form, Prowl. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Prowl <laughs> reset stealth into a rank stun. That is so good. This is going to be still big blaster damage out of Ariash. Judy is in dire need of health. May need to blow every single defensive here. Right now, Ariash, that is his cooldowns. That is still a lot of damage. Grip into a root right now. Judy has nowhere to go. All he can do is maybe tank up. Stun does get a disarm onto Ariash. Cyclone does get a clone. No ways out. Oh, he's got himself a proper reset. Wait, kick? You got interrupted and you still got a full clone either way? Does he have enough damage, however? That is the question. Ariash has cool dance in a moment. Full stun on the Judy. Does get to root the guy out. If he does get enough damage, Wrath Silas to follow. It is just over. Unless he got healing. He's got healing. Heart of the wild. Heart of a champion. Knocking the back. Cycled again. Oh, but Ariash does not give him even a chance. All right. So it looks like Frost Death Knights became kind of a... Uh, kind of a... Uh, <laughs> kind of ridiculous here. Yo, Christian, that's about the best I can do, man. I don't know how to do the accents in your name, man. Long, low blow. I was going to say long blow. That would have been a bad name. That would have been a that. That is not his name to begin with. Try to see if he can get away from Griff. Griff hits him with a quick gouge. Shadow Blades is available. The rogue does end up taking out a death knight. He needs to find a way to escape Griff immediately. Cloaker Shadow is not available anymore. Hold on. Chi Death is available. I don't know if he has himself a proper go. Does get himself a heal. But maybe he just like realized that he's probably just dead. He still doubted. That's still quite a bit of damage out of Griff. Unless he can maybe do something. Or maybe just blind Griff. Griff caught a reset. The rogue still has dots on him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's still got dots. Griff just needs to end up with a shadow strike and it's over. Cheap shot. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Mike! Three minutes! Three minutes! Three minutes for Ariash! Three minutes! Ross Jet Knights! What is happening? Got ourselves team one together with our rock over on the demonology. Is that a night elf or a nightborn? Based on a bald head, I'm thinking night elf actually. Athel on that team. We got bird. Oh, I like it. Look at this guy. This gentleman and his collar. Literally risen from the grave in the um. I forget. Churchfall. Cheerful graveyard. I almost forgot where that, a dead start. We got ourselves Judy as well as low blow the rogue. This man needs another chance to play, man. Tell joining back in as an arms warrior over the team too. Oh my goodness, Killer Frost. I love that set. That's so good looking. Protector first up and running, charging now. We got us a toxic as well as Aeronoma. I like that set too. That's a good looking set. You guys are gonna get mugs. Judy versus Protector is gonna be a wild ride, I think. Because Boomkin, I feel like right now on pre-patch, at least in PvP, from what we've seen in 5v5s, at least in a 1v1 setting, they don't seem to be incredibly consistent 
I guess the best way to put it. But maybe they'll be good against melee, because so far I think Judy only played against other casters. Got him some plenty of distance into a quick intro, but missing it, giving him an opportunity to go for instant casting, trying to go for a silence with a potentially a go versus protector. Full blades out onto Judy. Got himself a knockback, looking for a cyclone, trying to see if he can maybe find himself a break in between. It's going to be potentially a him Try to see if he can get himself some kind of a setup. Marskin is the only thing that's keeping him alive right now. May need a little bit more healing here. Got himself plenty of movement, looking for a clone. Does get a trinket out for the warrior with a quick interrupt and i think the warrior is just gonna be able to savage him oh my god the damage diffy of a bumpkin which is a lot more sustained by the looks of it versus a death versus a, 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 a I literally was gonna call him a death knight no i should just have ended it with death literally walking death the spec, the class, the myth, the legend. Breath immediately by bird. Got himself full of frost with a frost bomb full stun. Protector blade storming in between. I don't even know how he got out of a quick interrupt. This guy is brazen, but he still got stunned up. Put in a really weird spot. Fear on all the images. At the very least, you could maybe start taking those images little by little, but at least looking to get a couple of bloodthirst versus bird. Knocked back, but immediate charge. Does he have another way to close the gap? Yet another bomb. Not going to feel great, but it's got to reflect, reducing some of the damage taken. He can't really reflect anything back to the guy, but at least he got himself a little bit of defense. That spike! Oh, rally and cry up immediately, picking up as much health as possible. He's got Avatar in a little bit. He just got to live. He's just got to live. And I catch up on health, though. Look at that bomb. Does go for an interrupt. I think he might just have to go full Avatar here and everything. Unless, Frozen, can he get stunned up? As long as he doesn't break it. Stun, shatter. He picked up quite a bit of health though. Hold on a second. The warrior may have a potential here with the stun as the shifting power comes out for the mage shrink and the follow. Leap right after. Protecting got full burst, big blades, and everything available. Can he close the gap though? That's exactly what he needs a leap or a charge. Blade storm. Glacial? The man's got shimmer, so you can evade him quite easily. Oh, I think it might be down town. Oh, down for the count. Protector had a lot of damage, but Bird was not gonna be touched. I was like, you know what? I know. I know how you play these warriors, dude. The brunt of force draw with the put it yeah. You just gotta stay away from them. That's what you gotta do. Quick stunner, full burst. That's gonna be not actually maybe full burst with the King's Bane. But that is going to be reset for the rogue. Immediate shadow meld after. That is a lot of damage to deal with. Man, Jeff looks the strongest in one and once. What do you think is the strongest melee in one and once? For melee, I think warriors, like in terms of raw power, that or a paladin, because we didn't get to see paladins too much. But the paladin damage with why are you mad? I mean, he was putting in numbers. I want to see that guy again. Full death mark is in. Bird may be in a bad spot. He does not have a second block. He just got to find a way to live long enough until the block is available. He's trying to see if he can recuperate health as best as possible. The dots, the bleeds are rotting him down. I feel like the rogue maybe could be pretty good. Just in terms of like proper 1v1 when you're not facing multiple people back to back to back. I feel like a rogue can rotate all of the defenses. Vanish, cloak, everything. And then potentially... Potentially get the upper hand on you. Oh, this man is gonna die. Oh Man the bleeds. They are consistent to say the least. Who's mad? <laughs> gonna be full go as a low blow. Try to see if he can get himself a go versus toxic. Toxic full shiv. Kid the shot. What is that king's main damage? That's a cloak of shadows with a cloak for the other guy too. Both of them resetting. Evasion up to follow. Blind onto toxic. Low blow south is still kind of low. Better be very careful. He needs to get a proper stun on the guy. He's trying to get him maybe a potential go. Evasion's still out for a Toxic. Hold on a second. Oh, Vanish. Oh, he doesn't have a heal though. Toxic does not have taken it. That's kind of nuts. He turned around on the rogue so fast. That King's Bane Shiv. Second Shiv to follow. My goodness. With Atheman going to be up next. Damn. Toxic may just be able to take out the rest of the team. One potential unless somebody can... Drop him down and stun him. Immediate stun out of for Atha. As is going to be a trinket for the rogue. Bailing out of that. Does not have a vanish. Looking for a reset. But those judgments. Yeah. Not happening. Blind. Maybe catch a reset. He needs an escape. He needs an out. Sap. He doesn't have a reset. But that sap was there long enough. I think he's still dotted from an expert potentially. That or Atha is legendary probably. Actually. Actually. Probably Lego. Literally set it up for some food. For Atha, as long as he does get himself like a wake of ashes around the corner or like a final wreck from behind the pillar, he can always keep the rogue in combat. That is going to be a shiv. Is that a full king's bait? That is a king's bait. The rogue better be very, very careful here. Full stun. Death mark onto Atha. 
He's kind of low on health. Cheat death. He's still alive though. Bubble out for Athaman into a smoke bomb. Oh, he was not going to let the rogue out of his sight. Not going to happen with Arrow Nama charging out right next to Atho as the man's left with no health whatsoever. Polly not able to recover health while now. Polly evocation broken really quickly just to have himself a proper go. Full missiles to follow. Atho at least got himself a shield of He's got to find a way to CC the mage if at all possible. No, doesn't even get a chance. That's a full touch of the magic. Just taking the momentum. Taking that potential damage onto our rock immediately. Who's now playing out Affliction this time around. He's got full haunt, full set of dots. So rot, if he goes in for Dark Lay, I feel like Oronamo could go for a... I think I might just die here. Unless he blocks it. Hold on a second. Shift the power, trying to see if he can recuperate some cooldowns. Those dots are ramping right through him. And that is going to be a Dark Lay. Stun around the corner. Man's looking for a block. Oh, those bolts, by the way. Those Isakaz bolts are kind of nutty. <laughs> they only get better if once you get a hero town for it. And there goes the block. That goes the block. All our rock needs to do is get those dots into Aranama and then back up out of there. He needs to find a way to get himself in a healthy spot after this duel just so he's ready for the next one. He's got full dots onto Aranama. He just gotta wait those, let those dots do work. That's an invisible. The mage trying to see if he can close the gap. Brett to follow, trying to get himself a setup. It's a limited amount of a limited window for the mage to be able to find a kill potential. That's gonna be a quick interrupt. Does not have a lot of health to work with. Alarak just needs himself a caster too, and it's over. Missiles right after. Yeah. He just he has it secured. He has it locked in. He just needs to let those dots do work. And Telrun immediately charging out at Iraq. Immediately hits him with a slow. No more trick get available. Dots have a wall. Full bleeds are up. Maybe Iraq can go for a gate to try to see if they can escape it. But, I mean, tell, it's a lot of bleed damage, it's a lot of power, it's a lot of pressure. He got himself a bit of a heal. Malefic Rapture is available, he's got some dots under the guy, but he needs to find a way to get away from him as fast as possible. He just tried to see if he can find him, but I think it's just over. Oh, Malefic Rapture! It is Shadow Flame, isn't it? So now when you get locked out on Shadow, you can still cast it. But... <laughs> Tell us not gonna let him out of his sight. Man, Toxic, by the way, dude, turned it around on the other rogue. He just appeared out of left field and he just immediately stunned him. King's Bane, Shiv, double Shiv, got a little bit too low. Take him out. Well done, well done. Let's get us another one going. So, Nick, hopefully his group is all good because we got Cobra and they are ready to go. So, we can get from one group to the next real quickly.